Hello again, it's Paco Salas from Sound Fingers and welcome to another video of the Heritage Organ series. Today we're gonna be looking at a very special feature inside our plugin that allows us to play around and tweak some effects in order to create different types of organs just with our plugin. So we're gonna be talking about the rotary and the chorus effects. So stay with me, remember to subscribe to our channel and like this video. So let's get into the computer. Okay, so here we are. We have a new Logic Pro session loaded up. As you can see, I have three different channels. We're gonna be trying to recreate this type of organ, these different types of organs, just using our Heritage uh, plugin. So we're gonna start to, uh, working on our church gospel kind of sound and moving um, after with our uh, an electric organ and then we're gonna be looking to cre recreate the tone wheel Hammond's organ kind of sound you know that one that we really really love so we're gonna start um, on the church gospel organ let's load up uh, the our plugin here is our heritage organ so here here it is uh, the default sound as you can see they all pretty much sound the same maybe yeah. So starting off with our church uh, organ, uh, something very interesting about the, the church organ is that it, we actually need to get rid of some things. Uh, this video, we're going to be focusing mostly on the rotary and the chorus effects that are right here. So as I said, we need to get rid of things for the church organ. It is, it is very interesting that it is quite dry. We're looking for a dry sound inside this organ. So we're gonna get rid of the chorus and the rotary effects. You just need to click this uh, blue button, blue dot right here and you turn it off. So we right now have a very dry sound, for example. You get the idea. So we're looking for a very, very, very dry sound and a long note with no modulations, vibrato or anything like that. If you feel like you're lacking of body on your, on your tone, you, maybe you can add a little bit of reverb right here and you can uh, choose one of our presets or you can play around with the different parameters. I'm gonna be adding some uh, bass and treble from the tone shifter section. Remember uh, to watch our previous video, I really recommend you do, so you can understand how our different uh, parameters inside the Tone Shifter works. I'll leave a link down in the description as well, so you can go watch it. Um, so now we have some bass and treble right there. I'll have some scene waves like right here, so give it more, more body. And I'll add a little bit of reverb right here, so we have a more fat and bigger, bigger tone. So we have a better understanding of how this church organ works right now. As, uh, as I said previously, it's up to you to play around. Maybe you are looking for a dry sound and you don't need reverb and maybe less treble. You want it more uh, like a low end kind of organ. So there you go. You have uh, the church organ inside our heritage organ. Cool, so now we're gonna be looking on how to create the electric organ sound. This specific organ has uh, two elements that we're gonna be tweaking around inside our rotary effects, which are the vibrato and tremolo. We're not gonna be using that much or anything, the rotor effect. This effect, what does, it's, it pans the sound between left and right. So we're only gonna be using the vibrato and the tremolo for this example, the electric organ. Uh, it's very important to turn off your chorus. We're not gonna be needing uh, this effect for the electric organ. So let's start by tweaking the vibrato. So I'm gonna be adding some of this. I think that sounds cool, around the 20, 25%. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit of tremolo as well. I 
that sounds really cool. This is a very, very dry sound, so it uh, if you want to enhance a little bit that sound, you can add a little bit of reverb. Let's see. I think I like that sound better. Remember, remember, you can play around with the tone shifter uh, to look for the exact frequencies that you want for um, your organ. So let's play around with some bass uh, harmonics right here and add a little bit of signal right here and a little bit of harmonics and a little bit of treble. You can remember, uh, modify the scene wave. So yeah, I think that this is a very... You can add a little bit more if you feel like you're lacking um, a little of that attack in the vibrato. Uh, it's important you, that you play around until you find the right tone that you're looking uh, for your organ inside the tone shifter. That's why it's very important that you watch that video so you can uh, play around and really understand uh, the plugin and you can look for the right frequencies for your organ. So this is the electric organ. And now moving on to the tone wheels or the Hammond's organ that we all love. Uh, it's important to notice that this specific organ uh, has a rotary effects and chorus. So uh, let's just turn on the chorus real quick and play around with the with this effect and see uh, what we get. Can you hear the difference with the chorus? So that's with chorus. Uh, the tone wheel also uses the rotary effect. So we're gonna uh, focus on the panning, uh, which is the rotor. So what this does, it, uh, well, I, actually I just, it pans the sound between right, right and left. So if we, you can change the attack here to do it fast or slow. So the tone wheels also uses the vibrato. It's a very important, uh, uh, effect to add to it. So I'm gonna start adding a little bit of that right here. It's up to you to play around and see what works uh, for you. Maybe for me that's a little bit too much, so I'll drag a little bit down. Okay, I like that. So that, that's kind of cool. So you need to play around with these effects and try it out for yourself and see what works for you. Maybe you would like a little bit less rotor or even if you would like more intense um, panning with that, you can add uh, some tremolo so you can f really feel the, the frequencies moving around. really feel that noise and all, and all the frequencies moving around. That's really, really, really cool thing about the uh, tone wheels effect. You uh, can also remember to play around with the tone shifter and play with the, the, the waves right around here to really look for a, a sound that you want. Maybe add some harmonics. That's a very, very cool sound right there. 
You can also add, if you want, a phaser effect just by clicking these two arrows right here. You can see that it changes from chorus to phaser. So we add this. And you can play around with the frequencies and decide which ones you want to be in. goes all the way to 20k. Remember to play around with this for, with this parameters and also modify the tone shifter in order to get the right frequencies that you're looking for in your organ. Okay, so now I'm gonna record something real quick so you can hear the difference between each organ. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so we got that uh, uh, little thing. Let's see what, uh, uh, I'm gonna copy and paste that so you can, um, on, the, on the different channels, so you can uh, really hear the difference. So the one I recorded, I have a loop, uh, a uh, drum loop right here down, so I'm gonna play it from the beginning so you can uh, listen um, um, on each individual organ, so let's go. Four. Really cool. Okay, so that was it for this video. I really hope you liked it and this information can help you to create your own distinguished organ sound. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button and to visit our website so you can look at other plugins that we have to offer for you. So that's it for today. Bye bye.